guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a short and sweet video about your rotation schedule. This really only applies to those of you who are in programs that allow you to submit your preference list for your uh, rotation schedule. Some programs may not, and so this wouldn't really apply to that, but at my medical school, you can give them a preference of what rotations you want to do when and what site. So I put my preference list together very carefully because I wanted to do certain rotations at certain times and that was really important to me and I ended up getting the schedule that I wanted um, based on my preferences. And so I'll share with you why I chose certain rotations to be when and you know this was kind of the best thing to do from listening to other people who have gone through it and combining that with my personal preferences, I was able to put together a really great schedule. And so I'm gonna share it with you and you can definitely readjust and take bits and pieces of this. And if your school lets you choose or put in your preferred list, you really want to think about that entire year um, and what makes sense for you that whole year. So just a brief overview about our, our mandatory rotations and this might be different for you, but for me, we have six um, week rotations, eight week rotations, and four week rotations. We have four six week rotations, that's family medicine, uh, psychiatry, ob and pediatrics. Our eight week rotations are medicine and surgery. And finally, our four week rotations are neurology, and then you get to choose between radiology and emergency medicine or research. I chose radiology as my um, elective. And so those are the mandatory eight rotations that you have to do in third year. Now, my rotation schedule is basically broken down. I'm going to be doing my uh, six week rotations all in the beginning, so I will get the four out of the way in the beginning, and then I'm doing my long um, eight week rotations back to back, and then I'm going to end with my shorter four week rotations. Because I knew I was gonna be really exhausted after the US Emily, I wanted to start with a little bit of a lighter rotation, a rotation that didn't necessarily have a lot of nights and weekends, and so I started out with psychiatry. After psychiatry, I wanted to do a rotation that was going to give me a nice overview of medicine and kind of refresh my memory into all of the different uh, common clinical things that we see and give me basically an overall general view of basically US Emily step one and so I'm doing uh, family medicine after. Uh, after family medicine I'll go into pediatrics and ob -GYN and I will be done with my six week rotations and so that was really those rotations they are you know a little bit uh, psychiatry and family medicine and pediatrics and ob -GYN are you know a set schedule there's not too much uh, call on those rotations and those rotations happen to be in the um, summer months into the fall months for me I really am a weather oriented person I didn't want to do my really long hard rotations in the fall and summer because I would have been super super depressed uh, if I set it up to be that way. If I knew I was going into the hospital and leaving really late in the day where I don't get to see any sun, um, that would have been really bad for me, especially if I knew that it was nice out. But during the winter um, days, the days are so short anyways, you don't ever get to see sun and it's cold and I don't really wanna be outside anyway. And so I decided to put my medicine and surgery rotations during my winter months and then at the very end when it starts to get nice again I went back to neurology and radiology which are also lighter rotations that don't have too too much call so that's really how I in general uh, chose my rotations to be now if you are somebody who's really interested in ob -GYN, let's say you definitely don't want ob -GYN to be your last rotation because you're gonna be burnt out by the end and really really tired your third year is really just a test of endurance and your ability to stay positive and stay energized and so you definitely don't want ob -GYN to be your very last rotation and you definitely don't want it to be your very first rotation because let's face it you don't know much on your first rotation. You wanna choose it to be somewhat in the middle so that uh, during this rotation you get, you're still energized, you're not burnt out, but you also know a little bit more so you can interact with a lot of the attendings and the residents and build really good relationships. Because remember, at the end, you're gonna to have to choose a residency and make uh, connections to program directors, get some letters of recommendation. So um, definitely keep that in mind. Luckily for, for me, because I'm a oral maxillofacial surgery resident, 
happened. I am already in a residency and I didn't really need to worry about that so I really chose my schedule based on my preferences. If you're really confused at this point and you don't know why an oral maxillofacial surgery resident is in medical school, make sure you check out my other video all about oral maxillofacial surgery residency and why I'm a dentist in medical school. But back to the rotation topic, that was really um, something that I had in mind is weather. Um, and I had the length of the rotations in mind and uh, the other thing is I wanted to really do medicine before surgery because you learn a whole lot of medicine that could really help you during your surgery rotations and surgery was an exciting rotation for me I'm gonna be in surgery for a very very long time and so um, I'm gonna do an intern year in surgery once I'm done with medical school and so I'm, I really wanted to get to know the residents and the attendings and build really good bonds and relationships uh, so so I wanted to learn the most in medicine and then have surgery be the rotation right afterwards so I can go into surgery with a lot of knowledge and you know really familiar with all the computer systems the different departments and so that was another preference that I had really that's all that went into my rotation schedule planning and um, I hope that when you get to uh, plan your third year out you can use some of my advice and why I wanted to do the rotations when I wanted to. Thank you so much for watching guys. That's it. Short video. I hope that this is helpful for you. Make sure if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel, like and comment on the video. Let me know what kind of schedule you had in third year or if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. And I am looking forward to doing even more videos about each separate rotation. So make sure that you subscribe so that you can stay tuned to more videos. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure that you check out my Instagram account for daily updates on my rotations and basically my life in general. Uh, my Instagram handle is at 15blades and my blog is www.15blades.com. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.